The Swedes have developed an extinguisher which is saving lives. It's been brought to the Lancashire Fire and Rescue Training Centre for them to try out. Before we put the device through its paces, I joined the new recruits for a demonstration that showed just how dangerous the job can be, particularly from something called backdraft. So, Ian, what is a backdraft? A backdraft occurs when we've got a fire in a room that has used up all the available oxygen. The firefighter comes along, he opens the door. Lots of smoke rushing out, but lots of air rushing in. As they mix, they'll get to the point where they can ignite and can cause an explosion. Wow. That's really scary, isn't it? It can be very scary, but it's lethal as well. A number of firefighters die every year because this happens while they're inside the building. The cutting extinguisher may be the answer. The Lancashire Fire and Rescue Service are the first fire service in the UK to be testing a revolutionary water jet that can cut through walls and allow firefighters to put out fires from the outside. This amazing extinguisher produces a jet of water that comes out at 200 metres a second. That's about 400 miles an hour. And it's combined with a little bit of this grit. It's iron oxide, very sharp edge particles, a bit smaller than a millimetre across. And together, they have the power, they claim, to go through 15 centimetres of concrete. It will go through this concrete, it will go through a steel hull of a ship and any kind of material. We haven't come upon any type of material it can't go through. We've set up a test to see whether the extinguisher will be able to cut through a solid block of concrete and Ian's keen to see just how long it will take. Hey, they're through. That is fantastic. How long did it take? Superb, a minute and a quarter at most. What would it take you conventionally? Traditionally, 15 minutes, half an hour, using some other form of tool. It's fine in a test situation, but I think we should try this on a real building and a real fire. This is the first time that any British fire brigade has had a chance to test this equipment on a real fire, so they're really going to put it through its paces. Now, in here, we've got a classic sitting room. If you look round, we've got a soft chair, a sofa, there's a table, there's a telly in the corner, and Ian, who's in charge of the operation. Now, it's going to get hot in here, isn't it? Yes, we expect the temperature to reach at least 500 degrees centigrade in the first couple of minutes. A couple of minutes? How are we going to know the temperature? We've put remote sensors at ceiling height that will give us an external reading of the temperature in here and how effective the new equipment is. In just 30 seconds, our sitting room has developed into an inferno and we're forced to retreat. Oh, it's warm in there. See how the temperature's doing. Oh, that sounded nasty. Oh, we're up at 400 already. 400 at the already, yes. That's moving, son. Yeah, we'd expect it to rise to, to over 500 degrees in you there. You think so? Yeah. Well, luckily, I think I can hear the cavalry coming now, so maybe they'll sort us out. <laughs> At over 600 degrees, the fire is rapidly consuming the oxygen, and the firefighter could easily trigger a backdraft if he opens the door, but with this system, he can tackle the blaze safely from outside. He's now going straight through the hole and spraying a fine mist of water into the room. And the water is damping out the fire, denying it oxygen, and it's evaporating to steam and taking the heat out of everything. And you see, the temperature's coming right down. It was up at 650, it's now down to under 400, and still dropping very rapidly because of the cooling effect of that water. Even though there isn't very much water, it's a remarkable system. You can put out a fire without even going into the building. After a few minutes, the temperature drops low enough for Ian and me to survey the damage. Wow, it's still warm in here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Well, it's obviously made a terrible mess of that wall on the sofa, and I don't think we're going to be watching telly tonight, do you? No, I think that's gone. But we can see here that the heat level has gone down to perhaps just below the telly. Right. And that was about the time when the water was introduced. And we only used maybe 10 litres of water to put this fire out. 10 litres? 10 litres, that's all. Traditionally, a firefighter might use thousands of litres to get into this room. That would create a lot of steam. If there was anybody alive in here, that would compromise their safety. The steam maybe kill them. And, of course, the firefighter themselves would, would be suffering from that steam as well. Yes. So you think this thing might be useful? I think it's a great piece of equipment. It's got a good future. Make our job easy. 